Um, hello everyone, thank you for coming. My name is Amina, for those who don't know me. I am a member of Stop the War, PSC, and a local activist. And um, I, before we start, I do thank Ian and Michael and others who have done an amazing job in organizing this meeting for us. Um, what we are doing here in Lewisham, we have, um, we are a coalition, although we stop the war, we're also working with CND, Palestine Solidarity, with the Greens, with uh, People Before Profit, People's Assembly, and unions and the United Nations group locally, and community groups. We're trying to build a Lewisham activist group around this issue. And we hope that after tonight, more of you will join us, because the more of us are involved, the more effective we can be. We'd like to work on different levels, from individuals, individually taking those little stickers, boycott Israeli apartheid goods, and putting them on goods that you see in any shop they go to, that will help raise the issue. We are also doing direct action. We did occupy Barclays Bank locally. Right. And for those of you who don't know, Barclays have a history of supporting slavery, oh. South African apartheid, and now Israeli apartheid. And they are also the main funders of the arms industry in Israel. They set it up. I didn't just yeah. support it. Sorry. So they are supporting <laughs> the arms industry, like Elbit, with her, and they have a factory in Birmingham, which was also occupied by a London Palestine Action Group for 24 hours. They've been arrested. And they will argue in court that they, the crimes of the military are far greater than their crime of occupying the factory for 24 hours. We're also going to hope to do more direct action in Lewisham. And we have a stall. So we're doing things like that. We also want to educate and um, involve more people. So public meetings and not for education about what's going on. We'd like to also lobby our council. They have co contracts with organizations like Veolia, which does all the refuse collection. But Veolia is an comp international company that also works on the illegal settlements. So any company that we, as local people, and our council has contracts with, we need to lobby and work to stop that. Then we'd like to work on a national level against the arms trade and the foreign policy of this government, um, and also raise funds. So we will be having a big fundraiser in the Rivoli, hopefully um, very soon. We'll let you know. So that would be for Medical Aid for Palestine. The appeal has gone out on the media, BBC for once this time, do not cover Medical Aid for Palestine. So we'd like to do that as well. Um, the other area, of course, is also on the European level. The Europe gives special dispensation to Israel to sell their goods to the European community. Uh, we need to do something about that. They also, um, Israel have asked the EU to make it difficult for people to protest against what they're doing in Israel. And some countries have already um, done something about that. Australia, Canada, France have made it a hate crime to, and make, in France, they've actually stopped demonstrations um, against what's happening in, in, in Palestine. So we need to make sure we lobby against that as well. Freedom of speech is all linked to this issue. Um, so, if you do want to get involved, we've got work, we've got sheets going around. Sign up, and after the meeting, you can meet in the lobby and talk about the sort of things we want to do and what you can um, help us with. Um, and one other thing before I go, that, uh, before I introduce the first speakers, the, um, we've got an action this Saturday. I've got a card for. It's organised by Stop the War, and it's um, a demonstration in Wales. I know not everyone can go to Wales, but those of you who might want to go to Wales this weekend, again, meet up in the hallway after the meeting. It's uh, NATO are having a meeting there, and if you know... That stop the war are trying to stop the war can't intervene in all the wars in the world. Where they're trying to intervene is where this government is involved, directly or indirectly with wars, and what we can do to put pressure on our government in this country. So they will be there um, on Saturday uh, demonstrating against more wars that are building up in um, around Ukraine and what's build, building back up in Iraq, as we all know. This has been taken over a lot of our publicity. Um, so, the first speaker, John, do you